So, hello, people. Um, happy Saturday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out here. And I told you guys, I spoke to you guys briefly about MSM. Well, let me show you what the MSM looks like. This is the MSM I have. This is the crystal form of MSM. And the way you take this is one teaspoon per hundred pounds of your body weight. And you mix it in hot filtered water, which I have here, in four ounces. But this is a little more than four ounces. My measurements be off, y'all. Sorry, but they do. And um, tomorrow will make a week of me on the collagen. I only did, this will be my second time doing the MSM because I didn't have, my water wasn't filtered. So I had to get filtered water. I had to make it so I could have filtered water since they say you need filtered water. So, I did that. I finally did that. And I told you guys that I was going to have to add... Stop it! Half a... I was going to have to add um, lemon to it. Because just taking this by itself, you guys, is... Hell no. It's hard. I told you that first one took me like 15 minutes to get down. So, hopefully, this helps. And I haven't tasted it. Because I let it dissolve. As you see, it has dissolved. So... You guys are about to see my real expression if this this lemon is going to help it. Now, they said you can add um, honey or something something healthy to it. I chose lemon. I don't prefer the take, taste of honey, so I chose the lemon. So, let's see. And this shit's still nasty. I can still taste this shit, so I would need more lemon than this. But this is disgusting. However, this is supposed to be great for the hair, the nails, the skins, the joints, the inflammation. So I'm going to try it. And I did hear somewhere it was supposed to be good for high blood pressure. So you guys, I'm trying it. But, you guys, only a week on this collagen, and I will say this. You guys, look at my nails. They are seeming like they might be trying to grow. My hair, I don't know, because I have this attached. Get down. Get down. But I know hair has grown somewhere that I don't usually get a lot of. And I've had to shave already this week and I just shaved last week I don't usually typically have to shave but every two three weeks so hopefully the hair under here is growing like the hair everywhere else so the collagen in just a week I can say I have seen hair and my skin looks like it's kind of brightening or glowing or I don't know I don't want to say brightening but maybe that's the sunlight but it does look glowy I'll say that and you guys can go back and check my other videos and look at it and see what you think. And my nails, well, honestly, I think they are growing, but they're not shaped or, and you guys don't mind this horrible polish because y'all know we quarantined. I am not a manicurist. I am not a nail tech. So this polish keeps chipping. So I really need to go get some OPI or something. But these are my nails and usually by now they would have been in broke off this a little bit they are stronger than they were now maybe that's all in my mind because it is just a week um but i have been taking the collagen twice a day once in the in the morning with my coffee and then in the evening with my water so let's try to get this down guys No, this is nasty. So, can you see these crystals? It reminds me of Epsom salt. That's what it looks like to me, Epsom salt. Ugh, shit, it's disgusting. Disgusting, you guys. It would be so nice if tomorrow we could get at least 70 degrees. 65, 70 would be so nice for Mother's Day. It would be so nice. It's horrible. Horrible. You guys like my jacket?
This jacket is probably 30, 40 years old. This is my sister's old jacket. And I used to love this jacket. And she used to, and all these patches and things on it, some are actually missing, are from places she visited in the world. And as a kid, I always loved this jacket. And I remember asking her, I, I've had this jacket now about four years. I remember asking her about this jacket. And she said, oh, girl, you don't want that jacket. It's all ripped up in store. I said, let me see it. Bring it with you when you come down. So she brought it down. And I was like, and this is before they were wearing ripped jackets, mind you guys. And all of that. She's like, no. And then I wore it. And I was like, yeah, I love it like this. I get so many compliments on this jacket, you guys. I think she got this jacket from, like, The Gap or... I think it was from Gap. It's so old, guys. I love it, though. It's so me. Oh, she's always chewing on something. This heifer has broke my globes, y'all. I'm so ready to throw her ass in a cage somewhere. She broke my globes. That light up at night, she broke those. And then she proceeded to tear one of my chairs up I've got to get her her own space back here which I think I'm going to make over here by this tree let me show you guys what I think I'm going to do this tree over here I think I'm going to make all that her space and the, see the glass from get down Huffa. you see the glass because she's torn these up she's torn them up and then my chair's back there she tore up. And then this is my bar. I have to get some stools for. But, yeah, you guys. Uh, uh, but I can't get out and get anything because nothing's up. But stop it. Help her. Get down. Sit down. Come here. Come here. Sit down. I don't know what I was thinking getting a puppy. She was only four months when I got. I, I tripped my mind without one. I should have said, no. It's like, it's worse than having a key, an infant. Because <laughs> at least that infant, when you lay them there, they stay there. Unless they roll over. But this thing here, yeah. you know, puppies chew on everything. Everything. And as much as I try to get it out of her face, she finds a way to it. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Honestly, I don't have to drink the rest of this because I told you. I think I had more. I, was, I know it was more than the four ounces. So. This is horrible, though, guys. Then this is supposed to give you energy. So I'm hoping that it really does give me energy because I got a lot of shit to do. So <laughs> I need the energy. It's not particularly cold out here. It's just not nice. It's not like... You want to sit out here and chill. The sun is shining pretty, though. But it's a breeze that makes it like, yeah, I don't want to be out here. And then I got all these trees back here, so. Good when it's hot, though. Okay, y'all, I'm done. This is it. I, I got as much down as I'm going to get down for the day. Oh, also, they said that this could cause insomnia, so it's best to drink it earlier in the day. Then other people said it put them to sleep, so I don't remember if it did any of that to me because, like I said, this will only be my second time, but today I'm going to be mindful and pay attention to what it does to me so I can come back and let you guys know how it affected me as far as if it made gave me energy or if it had me up at night. So, I'll let you guys know. And that was pretty much it, you guys. And hopefully you guys can see my hair a little better, too. Because when I first showed you this hair, I had only put water in it. Well, today it has mousse and eco -style gel in it. However, that product was put in there two days ago. So, I just wet the hair down. And then I kind of brushed it and foofed it out. I like the style that it has taken on like this. But I also like it when I just wet it down and I don't manipulate the curls or anything. I love that style too. So, we'll just be seeing how many looks we could get and 
te curl textures we can get out of this hair. And again, this is a BLY hair company on Amazon. This unit was $78. And it did come with baby hairs, but the baby hairs are kind of spruce and sporadic. So you're going to have to go in and pull down more. I didn't cut these baby, I didn't cut them. I just manipulated them to go into the hair, the unit this time. Usually I cut them, but I didn't this time. So let's get a turn around of it. So it's like a bob. It's supposed to be 12 inches. However, I think it's 10. Just my thoughts and my opinions. Because I did have a... That last curly unit was supposed to be um, 10. And it was more like a 12. So I don't know. Just the company, different hair. I don't know. A different curl pattern. I don't know. I like it though. Either way it goes. That is great. So. Um, is that it, you guys? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I thought I just. Can you guys see my skin? I hope you can see the skin. Like you can tell me. Like, does it look like it's getting better? Is it glowy to you guys? Is it. Can, I, can you see it? Like, do my skin look clearer? Does it look glowier or something i don't know i don't know i think it kind of does look a little glowier in my mind but is that the sun tricking my ass because you know you're about to do it wrong so i came out here to you guys just to I'm, I'm vitamin D deficient, so the sun was back here. I knew I wanted to give you guys a video, so they said you need to spend at least 15 minutes in the sun. So, that's why I'm back here giving you guys this video, and I'm at 12 minutes, so a few more minutes, and I've gotten all the sun that I'm supposed to have on a daily basis. So that's why I'm out here giving you guys this video, which I'll probably be doing a lot of videos outside since it, the weather is trying to break, but it's really bipolar. But when it's nice sunny days, I probably will be out in the yard or somewhere trying to give you guys a video because like I said, I'm vitamin D deficient, so I need this sun. And come on, don't go anywhere. Stay right here, you know. So you guys, I'm gonna end this video on that note and remember, Block, block, block negative energy. Even though, you guys, I'm going to tell y'all something about that block negative energy. Y'all know I am a very avid person on saying block negative energy. Keep good energy. But you guys, in this last month, I have failed. I'm not even going to say a whole month. Because it wouldn't be the whole month that I failed. But in this month, I have failed at least three times of blocking the negative energy. And I feel... I'm a little disappointed in myself because I've been working for the last few years on keeping my energy good. However, I allow myself to allow negative energy to get the best of me. And not only did it get the best of me, it brought out the negative energy in me. Which, that that was like an all-time low for me. Because what am I doing all this work for? To go backwards and... When you realize that somebody brings out negative energy in you, you have to, well, I was going to say you have to get away from them. Or you can try to talk to them and let them know, in fact, the things that they're doing that is hurting you or bothering you. And I did that. And once you see that these people don't care and they continue to do everything that you ask them not to do, then they just don't care. And now it's time for you to just block them out of your life totally and just call it a wrap because there's no sense in you going backwards when you clearly see that some people only come to bring you pain and like to bring out the negative energy in you and then point the finger like look look see what i told you see what i told you but they don't tell you they don't tell the part of what they may have done or said to cause that reaction they just want you to look like the bad person the villain which hey Okay, whatever. But so I I um and another thing the sun does is helps my energy. I'm gonna go hug this tree 
when I get through with this video, you guys. Yes, I'm going to hug the tree. I hug trees because trees make me feel good. And it's an energy in a tree. So, and I'm going to start. And I'm going to sun gaze when I get through with this, which helps you with your spiritual and all of that. Because I need to get that energy off of me and away from me. And then I, once I clean up the whole house, I'll sage the house and get any bad spirits and energies out. And then I'll take, tonight I'll take me a spiritual bath and cleanse myself. And unfortunately for me, I uh, missed the full moon, so I can't clean, I can't get my full potential out of my crystals. I can clean them with salt water, but I like to clean mine for the full potential with a full moon. So I can clean them, but I need the full potential that I can get out of them with the moon, the new moon, I mean the full moon. So unfortunately I missed that, so I can't clean them the way I would like to. Um, so, yeah, but I am going to sun gaze. I'm going to spend about 10 minutes sun gazing. I'm going to hug the tree and then I'll go in the house and I'll just start cleaning and that'll be my Saturday. And that's it, you guys. So I know I feel at blocking the energy, but I'm here. I live and I'm here to see another day. So I live another day to do better now. That's all I can say about that. And on that note, you guys, again, block block negative energy. Beware of the energy stealers. They come in all forms, shapes, and sizes. They could be your best friend. They could be your lover. They could be your sister. They could be your brother. They could be your mother. They could be your cousin. Or they could be just a person on the street going past and they're having a bad day. You have to be careful. Be mindful. Be mindful of the people and the surroundings that you surround yourself with. So... On that note, I'm out. Black, black, black negative energy. Keep good energy. Keep positive vibes. And I'm out of here. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Deuces.